time on how me and my best friend was pregnant by the exact same man at the exact same time and i never knew until she had a secret baby shower so i was dating this dude for like three years like we were together for like three years and me and my best friend have been best friends for way before that like 10 plus years right so <clears throat> Um, we end up getting pregnant at the exact same time and she ends up coming up with this story like she had a one night stand she don't know who her baby daddy is all these other things and like you know once I asked her like are you gonna keep it because I'm never going to push anybody to go to the clinic and send their baby back to God but I always ask because where is your mindset so I asked her like are you keeping the baby and she's like yeah and I'm like okay like you know like you know you're gonna be you know what you know what you can handle right so whatever we both go through our pregnancy we were so excited we found out at the same time and it's getting closer to like our like six month and it's time to start planning our baby shower i have no fucking clue all the way up until this point that me and her like i, I don't question it right so because like why would you be a weird bitch so, at the six-month mark, when we start planning our baby shower, she's like, I'm just not going to have no baby shower. I've just been going through it mentally, emotionally. So, the whole time, I'm thinking that she's down and out because she's having a baby by this man, who, by somebody she don't know, right? Just, she's going to be a single mom. She set herself up for this. Like, she don't know who the baby daddy is. Nothing. So, I'm thinking that's why she's going through a whole time. The bitch going through it because we got the same baby daddy. Our mutual friends was like, oh, are you going to the baby shower? She told me she wasn't having a baby shower. That's how I'm going to motherfucking come. I pop up at the baby shower. Guess who at the baby shower cheesing? Oh, y'all want me to knock all this shit over? Not too much on my closure with this since y'all wanted a part two. Now, boom, let me tell y'all how I got to the baby shower. So once I find out that she's having a baby shower, I check her location because Goof Troop didn't turn off her location, right? So I'm like, oh, best, she the baby shower at her granny house. So I pull up to her granny house, I think of nothing of it. Just like, why are you being a weirdo, right? So when I pull up, I see my baby daddy car, because I know his license plate, in the front yard. So I already just stopped, peeped the scene. So I'm like, all right, hold on. Before I even walk into this motherfucker, let me go around the corner, and I end up calling my cousins, because we ride at dawn. So I'll call my cousins. They're already on the way. They're like 20 minutes out. I'll call my brother and tell my brother, you pull up too because I already know me. And if this nigga is in this baby shower, I don't even know what he would be doing here. I already know I'm going to put my hands on somebody. And I shouldn't be putting my hands on nobody at six months. So we need reinforcements. I already don't get along with his mama. I don't get along with his sister. I do not fuck with his family. Right? Because they weird. I see his sister walking up. Oh, this is a family full of goofies. So I'm checking everybody's location and I see that they five minutes out. So I'm like, bet, let me walk up in here because I don't want nobody to know that I'm walking in on no BS. Like, they didn't need to know I was on bullshit, but I was on absolute bullshit. Immediately on bullshit once I seen that man car. Like, they don't even need to know what's up. So every, I walk in through the back gate and as soon as I walk in, I make eye contact with her. And she just get, everybody look like they seen the ghost. I look my baby daddy dead in the face. He get up and sprint out the side gate. Oh, we're going to stand on business today. I, I, I can bet you that. High speed chase. Chase him till he run out of gas. I'm like, what's up? What my baby daddy doing here? And she like, oh, I'm so sorry. He told me he was going to tell you. Something I'm, it's not making sense. And you need to make it make sense right the fuck now. So she's like, he told me that he was going to tell you that we were having a baby. So the first thing I do is swing and hit her in her mouth. So as I'm swinging, because I'm not stopping, she's like, no. So now everybody trying to get me up off of her. And so now my cousin's running. They just see that people got me by my arms. Oh, melee. Nobody knew but me. Y'all want it? Y'all, y'all baby shower theme should have been a circus because it was a bunch of clowns. Melee, instant, instant mayhem, instant chaos. So by the time whoever had my arms, which was I think his sister and his cousin, my cousins already came over and then knocked the Mario coins out their head because let her the fuck go, right? So then 
she ended up running in the house and locking the door. So I couldn't even get to her no more. Don't worry about it though. So now I'm outside and my cousins, one of my cousins got her mama in the headlock because she was over there yapping, yapping her mouth. Shut up. His mama trying to come up like, Destiny, Destiny. I suggest you get out of my face because why are you here? And where's your son at? Because I'm going to knock his head off his shoulders like the Volturi did Carlisle. At this point, I don't know where my baby daddy then ran to. And I'm so confused because did you think he was going to save you? I'm about to beat both y'all ass. My family comes from a long line of crash outs. Like, we've never been a luck. So, as we all leaving, I give my cousin my car keys and I hop in the car with my other cousin because I parked up the street and I cannot run. So, they have pulled right up into the front of the house. So, I hop in the car with my cousin. So, I'm calling my brother because he never came in. I'm like, I'm like, where y'all, where y'all? He's like, we seen that nigga running out and he hopped in the car. So, we, chase, we, we chasing him down right now. Y'all, they on the freeway following him. He trying to get away. So, I'm like, y'all, just dead it. Just, just let it go. He got to come home. <laughs> Family meeting at my house. So now at this point, I'm already knowing people about to try to start acting like I'm um, the problem. Like, oh, Destiny was tripping. Oh, she was tripping. She came in here and did all this, did all this. So now I'm at home trying to trying to process because I still have not processed everything. So me and my cousins all go to my house and have a family meeting because I hope y'all beat everybody the fuck up that I couldn't get to. And I need to know who was there because I didn't pay attention to what homegirls was there who was just at my baby shower yesterday bringing a gift. She was just on my baby shower yesterday with a gift. So after me and my cousins is there, we sat at my house for a couple hours just in case the police came. We were already all in one spot, but they never came. Nobody ever caught the police because they know that they was dead ass fucking wrong. So fast forward to the next day. I was supposed to be at work yesterday. And I pull up to this girl granny house at a baby shower and you there and you run. I'm Ike. Still have no clue where this nigga went because I told my brother to just stop following him, right? So he ended up just coming to the house. So during our family meeting, we are going over what the fuck had happened. We had went over all the gifts and now I'm reading all the names of the people who bought the gifts, y'all. His mama done bought the girl a gift, his aunties, his cousins, his um sisters. This girl was supposed to be the god mom. Bitch, you turned out to be the stepmama. So I'm processing shit because, y'all, this girl is, like, my best friend. I was supposed to be the godmom to her baby. And now I'm just trying to figure out how the fuck did this go on under my nose? Like, I had no idea, blindsided. I'm, like, the way y'all is in these comments is how I was. Confused as fuck, and I got questions. But lucky for y'all, I asked questions. Because one thing about me... You're going to have to make shit make sense. I'm going to be able to play my role enough. Because I beat your ass once and I'm really going to beat your ass when you... I was really going to beat her ass when she had that baby. I wasn't going to hurt nobody, child. I still my baby sibling. So the next day she's blowing my phone the fuck up. I'm not answering. I, I went a whole day with her blowing my phone up because like at the end of the day, how could you do some weird shit like that to me? Not you, Ebony, from the Players Club. I'm ignoring them for like two days straight, everybody. If you wasn't with, uh, with me whooping ass at that baby shower, I had nothing to say to you. If you wasn't my family, I had nothing to say to you. Everybody, y'all some weird motherfuckers. I peep game, and I want everybody fade when I drop this baby, and that's just what it's going to be, and I don't care, and I'm going to stand on that. So when a bitch come, when I finally answer the phone, the first thing she's going to say is, and your cousin put my mama in a headlock. Bitch, we have bigger fish to fucking fry. So after the chaos and after the mayhem, now the hurt is starting to set in because there's no way that my best friend of 10 years is telling me that she's about to have a baby by the same man I'm about to have a baby by. Because at the end of the day, uh, my friendship is way more important than my relationship with any nigga. And y'all, this was my friend. Like, I never expected, I never seen it coming. And even when they was around each other, it was never like that because, like, I'm not a weird bitch, so none of my homies have to watch me around a man because I don't want your man, especially after I hear and see the things that he do for you. So regardless of the, if you my friend and you hear me 
even if I'm bragging on the sex, anything like that, that do not give y'all raggedy bitches the right to go try it out for yourself. So what you saying? You let a nigga fuck because he was fly? Because from our knowledge and us laughing and ha ha and kiki you have been laughing at his, about his mama wigs right along with me and his grandma dentures. But you gonna go have a baby and they all at the baby shower, ha ha and kiki So now like, I am devastated. I don't know what to do. Come to find out, I'm thinking we, she got pregnant after me. She two weeks pregnant. She two weeks in front of me. So you got her pregnant and then got me pregnant? Well, okay. I mind you, I still ain't talked to him. I still have not talked to him. So I'm just processing all this, processing all this. And I'm like, well, when did this happen and around what time frame? When did y'all even start fucking around with each other? So she was like, it was about a year ago. We was already two years into our relationship. So two years ago, I'm just going back and I'm like, so it was around the time that you and your mom was getting into it. And I was, I was allowing you just to come stay at my house. Mind you, me and my dude didn't live together at this time. So he was just in and out too. Like, so it was just one day that she needed to go over there. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll go over there. He over there. He'll open the door for you or whatever. I'm not a weird bitch. So I've never thought that I would have to watch my best friend of 10 years around my man, especially when you need me, like, especially when I'm trying to help you have a better situation right now and get a peace of mind. You going to get a peace of mind? So I hope y'all didn't think I was going to answer on the first ring because he had me fucked up. This is day four. This is day four. What are you even calling me for? I answered on the fifth. So when I finally answered the phone, no caller ID because homie, you're blocked. I blocked him immediately after I sent out a mass group text to him, his mama and his sisters and his granny calling him all some weird ass bitches. Y'all all some weird ass bitches that y'all knew what was going on and y'all was just smiling in my face at my baby shower the day before and bringing my baby gifts. Now all the gifts, you might as well have just Pop the gifts you was gonna get it out, bitch, to my baby shower, cause I got him now. Now he like, you blocked me. I'm so sorry, Destiny. I did not want you to find out like this, bitch. How the fuck did you want me to find out? Now I'm in straight bitch mode because you should have caught me four days ago, bitch. Now you didn't gave me time to let my sadness turn into anger. So now you about to get all the smoke. Cause how the fuck did this even fucking happen? You having project twins, Jody? So he so now I'm asking questions, y'all. He immediately starts crying. I don't have I don't want to hear shit you have to say. You don't have shit to say. When that girl dropped that baby, I'ma beat her ass. And I dare you to be at the hospital when she delivers. I can't believe you doing me like this. You really was acting like you didn't even want to be with me. Not the gaslighting. Oh my god. He crying, begging, pleading. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose my family. I don't want her. It was an accident. It was a mistake. You're a mistake. Now I'm like, so why? Why did you do it? Like, what? What in your right fucking mind made you say, you know what? Yeah, I'm about to fuck with this girl. Did Did y'all not talk about getting an abortion? He's like, she didn't tell me she was pregnant until she was already four months. So she tricked your goofy ass. Do you think that this y'all know? I'm like, so you, so I hope you're going to get a DNA test because if she didn't tell you till she was four months pregnant, why the fuck you think that is? The fact that this girl would, would even fuck with you. And that's my, that was my best friend of 10 years. You think that, are you, so you stupid. Then I needed to understand what prompted his goofy ass to take his dumb, stupid, raggedy, ass over there to that baby shower and start cheesing y'all was in love oh y'all was in love but you telling me she a mistake over here crying crocodile tears i like so i'm like who initiated it how did this start she came on to me okay so you're saying she came on to you and she's saying that you came on to her so whose teeth do I need to knock out first? You think it's cool to play in my face? Like you think this cool? You think cause I'm six months, this over? Cause I have a compartment in my head labeled weird shit and I promise I will not forget this. Well, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about my closure lifting. I really do not. Crying, paragraphs, crying, paragraphs, crying, paragraphs. No.
you can let me tell y'all something no matter how many times i wanted to give in let me tell y'all who was always on my side telling me how much of a dumb bitch i would be my cousins group chat because they can't fucking believe i'm about to hear out anything he has to say y'all when i tell y'all from the day of the baby shower they was at my house standing on 10 waiting for him to come back oh they could not wait they was they were still ready to fight i think my cousins was arguing with her mama and cousins and them on facebook y'all not getting the gifts back day one when i left that baby shower and we went through all them gifts they was at my house with me, waiting, standing ten toes down. They was ready. As mad as y'all are in these comments, they was mad at my house on the couch in real time, ready to fight. Still. But they had to go home. And when they went home, now we're into like two weeks later. So at this time, I've entered my seventh month. He had ended up coming over because like, I be needing to understand. I be needing to look you in your face to understand. I don't understand why anybody the gifts are gone i don't even know why he had the audacity to say anything to me about them gifts i really almost popped them in his lips you standing up for this bitch i'm confused i've been to i took them gifts back they was ugly i returned them and got my baby some stuff so now i'm getting down to the more important things i'm like so long how long if you knew I four months and we seven, that means you've known for three months. When did you think you were going to tell me? Well, I had told my mom and them and they had told me just don't tell you. And that's the reason you were big. So now I'm like, oh, his mom and everybody knew. But y'all think that I'm going to be comfortable with y'all around my baby when my baby get here? What type of, what type of weirdo shit operation y'all got going on? So once I peep all the weird shit going on, I decided that I just need to separate myself and I need to go no contact for the rest of this pregnancy. Because in order for me to get my mental right, I know I can't deal with this bullshit. And if I and once I don't trust you, it's it's done. I just like how am I supposed to believe you would never do that to me again? Like you want me to believe that for real in my mind? I don't believe that. So <clears throat> He wanted his family back real, real bad. And for y'all that think I didn't stand 10 toes down, I did. We did not get back together. My cousins was my baby daddy. We kept it pushing until we got to the ninth month. So now, boom, fast forward. That's two, that's two months that there was no contact. He didn't know what was going on. I don't got time. You didn't give a fuck about me or this baby when you was doing the bu weird bullshit that you was doing. So don't act like you care now. So I'm going to just protect my peace and my child. And that's what I decided to do. Fast forward to the night that I went into labor and I had to call him. I already had peeped and found out though that that girl had her baby two weeks before me. Before I even went into labor. I already had knew, but I didn't say nothing because, oh, okay, I'm Maury. Who's the daddy? So Crystal ended up having her baby a week early. I ended up having my baby right on time, like right at the mark, right? So our babies are now three weeks apart. Everybody was at the hospital. Her mama was, his mama was at the hospital. His sisters was at the hospital. His granny was at the hospital. Just real fucking fake. Guess who wasn't at the hospital though? Him. Because during no contact, he's still trying to get his family back. He's still like, I, need, I want my family back. Please, I want to try. I want to try y'all sending me gifts. He's talking about, I know I need to build the baby crib. My brother already did it, bitch. So he knew better than to be at that birth, right? Which means the baby has his last name. But his name is not on that birth certificate. Because I, I double, I double dog dare you. I don't care if you ain't talked to me in 15 months. I dare you. Mind y'all, we was going to name our babies the same middle name. Change that motherfucker. So I'm already peeping all of this. They're already posting everything on Facebook. I'm seeing the pictures. Oh, y'all holding the little baby. I'm not going to call that baby ugly, but I'm not going to call the baby cute. I did feel a little guilt. And I, I did have to ask God for forgiveness because I didn't have to steal that baby gifts. That baby really was an innocent bystander in all this. But your mama is a fucking whore. So, I peeped all of this before I even got into labor. Mind y'all, me and him have went no contact. But I'm never going to be raggedy because I know that you my baby daddy for sure. So, I call him and I'm like, he like, hello? I'm on my way to the hospital. 
All right, Des, I just, are, are you sure? Click. I'm on my way to the hospital. Are you pulling up or not? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to skate with you. I don't want to kick it with you. I don't want to do nothing. We got in common. Is this, we just related to the same baby. So now he in there and I'm just asking him questions. So I'm like, so did you go see the baby? And he like, yeah. And I don't expect him to be no deadbeat because you lay down and make a baby. You need to make sure that you're a father to that child. Even though you raggedy as every, all the fucks in the world, you're raggedy. But you need to go, you need to go be a good dad. Like that's the least you could fucking do is be a good dad. You're raggedy in all aspects of being a man. So be a great dad. So whatever i'm in labor i'm only in labor for like 12 hours so when the baby come the, he looked me dead in my face and was like so are we still gonna name him a junior i don't mama baby daddy's maybe leave me a fuck alone compartment in my head labeled weird shit so everything that i'm seeing i'm just storing because i'm not gonna forget shit now i had the baby fast forward fast forward for about the baby's about three months i don't see nobody i'm just in mom mode so like i don't got time i don't got time i don't got time right so fast forward three months and everybody thinks shit shit sweet he he come see my baby but like we're literally co-parents i do not play that um we gotta be be together to co-parent come get come come get your baby and then bring my baby to fuck back. Bye. I don't have time. I'm trying to go outside. So in this three months of time, I guess they ended up falling out. Because some dude had ended up writing him on Facebook like, I seen the baby and I just want you to know that I feel like the baby looked like my daughter. And I'm going to get a DNA test. And I want to get a DNA test because me and her was messing around. And she, she had hit me up and told me that maybe I was the dad. Mind y'all, he telling me all this because he's still trying to get his family back. Like, I really don't give a fuck, but I'm nosy. So what? Because regardless, I was going to make him get a DNA test, but I had to stand on... I couldn't make him at that point because I didn't want him to, to even give him any hope of getting his family back together. Because, like I said, we're just related to the same baby. But I'm also just nosy and also, like... You shouldn't be taking care of no kid that's not yours. And so before he could get even get the DNA test, the other dude, she already had tried to file for child support. But since he did not sign the birth certificate, she had to get a DNA test through child support. So they got the DNA test. Now we in, we going into the results come back. Like now we four months in and the DNA test results came in. Hold on, because somebody in my comments must know my life better than me. And I think they think that the results is going to change. So let me redo it like they said. They said I still have time to redo it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And when it comes to four-month-old Kaden, read. You are not the father. Like, he still was not the dad. He still was trying to get back with me. Yes, I did do a lot of things that I, prob that I probably shouldn't have done. Like, yes, I did bust the window. Yes, I did flatten three of his tires because if you flatten all four, he can claim an insurance claim. FYI. Yes, I did do that. Yes, me and my cousins went and TP'd his mama house. Yes, me and my cousin went and knocked his mama mailbox over. Yes, we were doing childish things. And would I do, would I, do I take any of it back? No. Would I do it again? Absolutely. And I also did find a message in my baby daddy phone. And before y'all think that I went through his phone, I did not go through his phone. He had ended up giving it to me and I was looking for something and I ended up in the messages. I don't even know how I got there. She texted him talking about, I just want to apologize. I never meant to hurt you. I really thought that this was um, your baby. I really thought we had something special. This, this, that, and the other. And he going he gonna to react to the message with a heart. And that's when I reacted and karate chopped him right in his neck. Because I will rip your lips off your face. I, I was pissed the fuck off because y'all did all of this shit for nothing. Literally, all the hurt that was caused was for no reason. All because you wanted this man to be your baby daddy and why he's raggedy. And you knew that. If I could run, I would. Now everybody's trying to apologize to me, but y'all already move weird. You already move weird. Once you're a certified weirdo to me, there's no coming back from that. Like, 
keep your apology. Please keep your apology because it's not for nobody but you. Well, I don't want it. 